Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new tips episode here on Blowout Gaming. Today, guys, we're going over real quick how to transfer between servers on single player. So I'm going to show you guys here. I'm starting off in Crystal Isles. We're going to load up the Crystal Isles map. Looks like we're spawning in right next to Green Ob. Let's go ahead and grab one of these dinos. It looks like I have a mammoth here. And yeah, you know what? Let's go with the Rex. The Rex looks absolutely awesome. Max level red, white, and blue that I caught during my skiff video, guys. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure to check that one out after this one. But uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy up in a cryopod. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and make up a saddle for him. And then let's go ahead out to the obelisk and I'm going to do some transferring. Now it also looks like there's a mantis that I left out here who also wants to join the party. So this guy's is my Crystal Isles character. He's completely separate from any of my other single player files. And you know what? I kind of prefer it like that. This is just my personal preference. You can, of course, upload your survivor if you want to and then re-download it on a brand new map. But remember, it is going to overwrite any existing character that you have there. But you can upload and download. Let's access inventory on the green knob. And then you can see there's three tabs at the top. We have arc data, we have creatures, and we have tribute. Now, tribute is going to be for the boss battles. We're not doing any boss fights today, uh, but we are going to be taking a look at the creatures tab, which shows us which creatures are in the vicinity that we can upload or download that are already in our data. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the mantis here, and then I'm going to upload it. And you can see it's disappeared. It's no longer standing next to me. That means it's basically been uploaded to the data, and we can now download it on any other map. I'm also going to go ahead over to the arc data tab and then i'm going to throw in the cryopod with the rex and i'm going to throw in the rex saddle and then i'm going to go ahead and leave this and again i'm not going to upload my survivor because i want one of my other characters to be able to use these creatures right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to exit out of this perfect so now we're in the load screen, guys. I'm going to go back into my single player, and this time I'm going to choose the island. Why the island? Because I have a brand new character that I haven't done anything with, and he's really just standing there next to the ob for this demonstration. So we're going to go ahead and load up this island map, and then you can see, like I said, I pop up right here next to red ob. You can see I pull up my inventory. I'm level one. Like I said, I don't have the same name. Nothing is the same. I'm going to access the inventory again, just like we did before. This time, I'm going to go over to Creatures, and I'm going to highlight the Mantis, and I'm going to click Download. Boom. Just like that. Do you see that, guys? The Mantis is out and about, ready to play. Let's jump around a little bit. You can see it's completely mine. It follows me, and it's unlimited. I can upload it and download it and upload it and download it as much as I want. It's not going to be affected. No timers to worry about. Let's go ahead and throw out this Rex. Boom. What a pretty Rex. This is a perfect spot for a Rex here on the island. Let's go ahead, saddle this up. Let's grab the saddle. All right. And then you can see we have the Mantis and the Rex ready to go. And again, they're following a level one. Not a problem. So let's go ahead and actually re-upload this Mantis. And this time we're going to upload the Rex instead of putting it away in the cryopod. Let's go ahead and grab the Mind Wipe Tonics out of this guy's inventory. Throw that into the data. And then I'm going to exit out of this one again. Back to the home screen. We're going to go into Genesis now. Because you know what? I'm feeling like taking things over to Genesis. So let's go ahead and spawn into Genesis. We go to a mission point, And then we're going to go ahead and access the inventory again. And then from here, of course, we're going to go into Creatures and download that Rex again. Grab the saddle and the Mind Wipe Tonics out if I want to. And then here we go. It's just that simple. And now, guys, you can see I have my level 105 Zack B character able to use the Rex. I was just using it a second ago, and now we're over here using it. Again, no timers, super easy. Single player is fantastic for lots of reasons. Make sure to check out some of those other videos, command videos, all sorts of stuff that you can do in single player mode. Honestly, the sky's the limit. As always, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope this was short and sweet enough for you. Make sure to check out my Discord. I have gotten fantastic responses from everybody on the Discord. I'm going to continue to get more active. I also am starting to use that community tab. Make sure to keep an eye out for polls and other fun things that I'm going to be putting up there. And of course, smash that subscribe button so you do not miss out on a single bit of it. I will see you guys in the next one.